أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد جاءكم يوسف من قبل بالبينات فما زلتم في شك مما جاءكم به حتى إذا هلك قلتم لن يبعث الله من بعده رسولا كذلك يضل الله من هو مسرف مرتاب الذين يجادلون في آيات الله بغير سلطان أتاهم كبر مقتا عند الله وعند الذين آمنوا كذلك يطبع الله على كل قلب متكبر جبار وقال فرعون يا هامان ابن لي صرحا يا هامان ابن لي صرحا لعلي أبلغ الأسباب أسباب السماوات فأطلع إلى إله موسى فأطلع إلى إله موسى وإني لأظنه كاذبا وكذلك زين لفرعون سوء عمله وصد عن السبيل وما كيد فرعون إلا في تباب صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Ghafir Ayah number 34, 35 and 36 In the ayah number 34 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to the people of Egypt and says to them وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ يُوسُفُ And indeed Yusuf has come to you وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ يُوسُفُ has come to you مِنْ قَبْلُ in times gone by بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ with proofs with clear ayat in every prophet we can see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send them with clear ayat meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala delivered his signs and his clear ayat his proof to them so no need to imagine some people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't show them his ayat and no need to think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them some people without showing them his clear ayat without sending them uh, sending to them his clear ayat so in every nation we can see the same uh, thing happened and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here talks about the people of Egypt and says to them وَلَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ يُوسُفُ and Yusuf has come to you in قَبْلُ in times gone before in times gone by بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ with clear ayat فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا جَاءَكُمْ بِهِ but how did you respond to Yusuf? how did you respond to him? before Moses we send to you Joseph and فَمَازِلْ تُمْفِيشَكْ you were in doubt you ceased not to doubt in, in that which he did bring to you فَمَازِلْ تُمْفِيشَكْكِنْ مِمَّا جَأَكُمْ بِهِ it means that you did the same with Joseph now you are not believing in Moses Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but beforehand Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sent down, sent to you uh, Yusuf Alayhi Salam and you uh, did the same with him you didn't believe in him 
you ceased not to doubt in that فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا جَاءَكُمْ بِهِ in that which he did bring to you some people may understand that here doubt to be in doubt something out of intention and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to them فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا جَاءَكُمْ بِهِ here if we look uh, deeply to this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not the one who says how did you doubt about him how did you doubt about Joseph and about his prophethood but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you ceased not to doubt in that uh, which he did bring to you فَمَا زِلْتُمْ you were in doubt you remain in doubt فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكْ you didn't get out from that doubt so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Quran ask his servants, ask the people to get out uh, of the doubts uh, and he do not uh, per, uh, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala do not blame them for uh, to doubt but he blame them, blames them to, to remain in doubt and to allow to be in that doubt feeling doubt is natural thing which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created it in our self and that is a key to reach the truth Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us that doubt whenever we uh, hear something or whenever we listen uh, we see something and we use that doubt to verify what we see to verify what we listen and to reach the truth and to be, to not uh, and not to deceive ourselves but some people wants to use that doubt uh, in a, a wrong way they produce that doubt about the prophet for example like they produced it about Moses sallallahu alaihi wasallam but then they do not uh, use that doubt uh, they do not try to get out that doubt they do not make research they do not uh, verify the issue uh, in order uh, to get out of that doubt but they allow that doubt and uh, wants to live in that doubt in order to reject the truth this is uh, the way uh, using uh, misusing the doubt but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ if you are in a doubt about that we have sent down to you وَإِن كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَؤُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ then you have a responsibility you have to do something go to those who read the book before you and share your doubt with them and ask them about their opinion so you have to do something and first of all you should know that the one who created you will open the way to you like he provides you what you need like he provides you what you eat and what you drink Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will provide you what you need of knowledge the Prophet, the Prophet Abraham وسلم, said الذي خلقني فهو يهدين the one who created me of course will guide me it's unimaginable to think that the one who created will bring the food will bring whatever you drink will bring every kind of favor to his servants but uh, does not show him the way does not guide him to the truth it's uh, it's, uh, it's unimaginable and an un 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 ununderstandable thing so it's clear that the one who created us will open the way 
the one who created us will show us the truth unless we uh, should be open-minded and we should be ready and we should do uh, what uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do we should look after, go after the truth and listen for every kind of opinion every kind of read every kind of book and choose the best thereof فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكْ But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blamed them because they remained in that shak, in that doubt. They loved to be skeptic uh, in order to refuse uh, the truth and refuse the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in another ayah, Allah azza wa jal says, was, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Go and ask those who know if you do not know. Make research, go ask that person and, and another one and another one. You should have solve that doubt in you. You cannot say, I loved this doubt and I am a skeptic. I do not want to believe in anything because I am not certain about anything. But if you, don't, if you did your task, if you did what, uh, what you should do in order to be certain uh, and in order to solve your doubts, then uh, okay, go ahead. But if you, without doing anything, if you allow to be, as, uh, to be uh, remained in that, to be left in that doubt, uh, in order to refuse the truth and refuse the religion then you choose you the wrong way and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will ask you why didn't you look for the truth why didn't you make research about the truth and I believe and know from the Quran that that person also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring the truth before him and he will go away in order to not confront with the truth and remain in doubts and if he ends his life uh, in this way then, uh, then he will be one of uh, those who lo will lose his chance transgressors who uh, misused his chance in this life and, one, and do not uh, want uh, to confront with the truth uh, in order to be free from every bond and to live this life uh, according his desires. This is the way of kuffar. This is the way of deniers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they cannot fool Allah azza wa jal. Just say that they, they couldn't be sure about the truth. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows their innermost thoughts. If they were really in doubt and couldn't solve that doubt, couldn't get out from that doubt, uh, although they did uh, what upon them, uh, what uh, they should do, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows them and He will not ask them uh, anything He didn't give them. لا يكلف الله نفسا إِلَّا مَا أَتَاهَا Allah does not charge anyone anything that he didn't give him. But we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we learn from Qur'an and we uh, saw in ourselves that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows his signs uh, and uh, brings uh, the ayat, the signs uh, very clear uh, before his servants and tries them and looks uh, to them. فَمَا زِلْتُمْ Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to people of Egypt. They refuse Moses. They say, you are not the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You just want to take advantage of the truth and you want to reach uh, to have an authority over these people. In Hadani la Sahirani, Yuridani Ayukhrijakum 
min ardikum bi sihrihima wa yadhaba bi tariqatikum al mutla you want to have this kingdom you want to destroy this kind of life so they said to the people uh, hold your uh, hold up your life and refuse Moses and his message but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here talks to them and says before Moses we send Joseph to you and like Moses we send Joseph with clear ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send the clear ayat with with every prophet and now Thamud just like the others we showed them the truth we guided them but although we guided them they loved and they uh, preferred uh, to remain in darkness they preferred the falsehood over the truth that was their choice in every prophet every nation and every single per person in that nations Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them the truth but they refused them although they were convinced about the truth and now this is the example in the uh, from the past Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeat it uh, uh, remind uh, it uh, to the people of Egypt you were in doubt you remain in doubt mimma ja'akum bi uh, you, you ceased not to doubt in that which he did bring to you and now hatta idha halaka till Yusuf died till Yusuf died you said that you are in doubt about his prophethood hatta idha halaka after he died qultum you said لَنْ يَبْعَثَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ رَسُولًا Allah will not send any messenger after him. No messenger will Allah send after him. So we can understand from their statement here that they were certain about his prophethood, about the prophethood of Joseph. They were certain, but throughout his life they said, we do not believe in you. We do not believe that you are the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But after he died, they said, no messenger Allah will send after him. قُلْتُمْ لَنْ يَبْعَثَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ رَسُولًا We can understand that that doubts who, uh, were produced by them deliberately. They loved that doubts and they used that doubts in, a, in order to cover uh, their face فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكٍ they were pretending with uh, that the, uh, pretending themselves with that doubts after he died Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took their statement and put it here and he, now we know that they were certain about the prophethood of Joseph sallallahu alayhi wa sallam hatta idha halaka till he died till he perished qultum lan yab'atha Allah min ba'dihi rasula you said no messenger will Allah send after him you despised uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will send a messenger you said, okay, we have finished this uh, terrible uh, and you said this statement in uh, wishful, uh, wishful thinking, in way of wishful thinking. They wished that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send uh, a messenger again. حتى إذا هلك قلتم لن يبعث الله من بعده رسولا This happened before the Prophet Musa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Yusuf alayhi salatu wa sallam attained uh, a high position in their government the government of Egypt and they obeyed him 
in uh, worldly matters but they didn't obey him uh, in a matter of uh, worshipping Allah alone uh, so they denied his message uh, there may be some people believed in him but most of them said we are in doubt we are not certain about your prophethood Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَمَا زِلْتُمْ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا جَاءَكُمْ بِهِ you remained in that doubt uh, till he died after he died you said no messenger will Allah send after him كَذَلِكَ يُضِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ هُوَ مُسْرِفٌ مُرْتَابٌ Look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks a nation and gives them examples from their history. He says to them, you are now refusing Moses. You today reject Moses sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the past, you reject Joseph uh, in the same way. So, you, you do not have problem with the people you do not have problem with the messengers your problem is with is with me with the truth so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala similarly said the same thing to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they are not blinding you they are not denying you these transgressors they are denying the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are denying the truth. Their problem is not with you. Their problem is with the truth. Their problem is with Allah. So look at the history. They denied Yusuf. Although they were loving Yusuf. By the, and they obeyed him. Uh, um, pertaining to his... Uh, position in their government they did, but they didn't obey him in uh, matters of worshipping Allah alone so you can see the difference uh, and you can see why they rejecting Moses today and why did they reject Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said the same thing to Jews when they refused when they reject Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi he asked them, "Qul falim qataltum anbiya Allah min qablu in kuntum sadiqin." You today say, "Why Allah subhanahu wa taala did not send the messenger from us?" You are now, to you now today, denying Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam just because he was an Arab, just because he was not from. Uh, the descendants of Israel والسلام, but although he is from the descendant of uh, Abraham وسلم, just because that difference you deny him no it's not the real reason you deny the truth and even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he did send the messenger from you you would deny him like you denied uh, Jesus وسلم, so Allah Azza wa Jal uh, remembered them the history and said to them قُلْ فَلِمَ قَتَلْتُمْ Say, why did you kill the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala مِنْ قَبْلُ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ If you are today truthful in what you say then answer why did you kill the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the history so it doesn't matter from you or not you just want to use uh, that issue uh, in order to uh, excuse yourself before Allah Azza wa Jal حَتَّى إِذَا هَلَكَ قُلْتُمْ لَنْ يَبْعَثَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَعْدِ يَسُولَ It doesn't make different if they are Jews or Arabs or not all the disbelievers have the same uh, way when they deny the truth here the Egyptian people denied Joseph Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and remained uh, allowed to be uh, in doubts uh, about his message and about his prophethood and they did and they uh, gave the, sa the same response 
uh, to Moses sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because they too uh, didn't want to confront with the truth. حَتَّى إِذَا هَلَكَ قُلْتُمْ لَنْ يَبْعَثَ اللَّهُ مِنْ بَعْدِهِ رَسُولًا كذلك Thus, the end of this ayah is very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Thus, كذلك Thus, يُذِلُّ اللَّهُ Allah does send astray كذلك يُذِلُّ اللَّهُ مَنْ هُوَ Whosoever is musrifun, is wasteful. You are wasting the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm sending you a messenger. You are not believing in him, denying in him, wasting the truth and wasting the messenger. Allah azza wa jal sends a messenger to you. This is very important. And he brings the truth to you, but you waste him. How can you waste him? And again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sending another messenger. You are now again denying the truth. You have not that right to waste the truth. You cannot be uh, wasteful. You cannot waste the knowledge, the truth. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear to you, you have to acknowledge it. You have a limited chance you cannot waste, you have not the right to waste the truth. You may waste it today and tomorrow and again and again. After a while, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take your ability uh, about uh, distinguishing the truth. Thus, this is the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you will send astray. So do not think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent astray an innocent. No. Learn, learn whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent astray and when Allah azza wa sent him astray and why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him astray. We have to learn the procedure from him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When he say, that person I send him astray and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say why and when and whom that person what was his behavior كذلك thus Allah send astray whom uh, him who is a transgressor who is a wasteful he consume he is the one who consumes his chance. After a while, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when it becomes certain that this person will not acknowledge the truth, even if you open him, if you make him live uh, forever, at that moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes his abilities and opens uh, and separate uh, his heart from himself and seal up on his heart and put uh, uh, something on his eye uh, and uh, his ears also. After that moment he cannot distinguish the truth from falsehood. And every falsehood becomes goodness, becomes true for him because he has finished and consumed his chance as if he died at that moment. It doesn't make difference. But if you ask me why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him life after that moment in order to consume his goodness in his life and in order to uh, be uh, in order to be a big sin uh, sinful in his life and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wala tahsaban wala yahsaban alladhina kafaru annama numli lahum khayrun li anfusihim innama numli lahum liyazdadu ithma shall they not think that when we give them time when we give them when we grant them wealth 
that we love them and uh, we uh, bless them. No, we give them after that moment in order to increase themselves in sin uh, and in order to, in order, uh, to consume their small goodness in their life. They may did favors to someone or any, any goodness. لِأَلَّا يَجْعَلَ لَهُمْ حَظًّا فِي الْآخِرَةِ Till Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remain not, remains not any goodness about them to the hereafter. Re only remain their sins, their crimes. This is the rule of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He gives everyone the same and the equal chance uh, and makes the truth uh, for a while manifest to everyone and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not decree to be uh, uh, does not decree uh, to be one of the losers no the one the person himself makes his choice and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send him astray after his, uh, he makes his choice in a certain way. كذلك, thus, does Allah send astray? He does not send astray some people he wills. No. من هو, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes him. من هو, him, who is wasteful, musrif. Murtab and a skeptic like the people of Egypt they left uh, and allowed to be remain in that doubts and they didn't try to verify and solve that doubts about Joseph وسلم, they didn't look after the truth J they just stayed at the, at the first step when they uh, doubt about his prophethood but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his prophethood clear to them but they produced uh, their doubt against uh, the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout their life they struggled with the truth but they already knew that Joseph was the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his message was very clear that there cannot be any God except the one who created the heavens and the earth. After he died, they said, no messenger will Allah send after him. At this moment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us, thus look and draw the lesson. If you are one of them who knows the truth in his innermost thought, thoughts, but he pretend he is pretending himself if you are one of them then you should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send you astray because Allah uh, sends them astray those who waste the truth do not waste the truth when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it clear in uh, yourself and do not live in uh, doubts. Verify them and do what you should do because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had already given to you the abilities to make research and to think about it. And if you claim that you did and you are doing what you should do with your abilities, then uh, your state is uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We cannot say anything. Allah will judge about you. This was the ayah number 34. In this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put the mirror before the people of Egypt and showed them that they are not sincere. They did the same with Joseph and after he died they acknowledged that he was a prophet and they wished that 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not send again a messenger but although they wished that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala today sent again a messenger Moses sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but you are giving the same response كَذَلِكَ قَالَ الَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ مِثْلَ قَوْلِهِمْ تَشَابَهَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ Allah Azza wa Jal says the same thing uh, said by the people before them and today Quraysh is saying the same how they can say the same that they advised uh, this statement over the generation no they are in the same state their heart in the same state and their intention is the same refuse the truth in order to be free from the commandment of Allah Azza wa Jal and in order to live this life uh, as if you are the master of the life now let's move on to the ayah number 35 <laughs> Allah Azza wa Jal in the ayah number 35 continue uh, to explain the people whom he sent astray and he started with الَّذِينَ those he is speaking about the wasteful people he is speaking about the skeptic people those who, who uh, wants to live in doubts in order to refuse their Lord their Creator and they say I'm not certain about the Creator I cannot say there is a God I cannot say there is not a God I'm not certain I do not have a proof if they are sincere we learn from the Creator in Quran that they cannot be sincere they are only pretending in order to refuse the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but I say to them if you are sincere then go ahead we cannot judge about you but Allah Azza wa Jal knows your innermost thoughts let's assume if you are really sincere then we learn from Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not punish you but because he says لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not charge anyone with anything that he didn't give him but in Quran Allah says قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ بَصَائِرُ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ or he says سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْأَفَاقِ وَفِي أَنْفُسِهِمْ we will show them our ayat we will show no way سَنُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ سَيُرِيكُمْ آيَاتِهِ فَتَعْرِفُونَهَا he will show his ayat his signs and you will know them Allah will show his ayat his signs until he, it becomes manifest account, according to them so we, accord, uh, we learn from Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his ayat clear makes his ayat clear to them but they are not sincere they choose that way in order to refuse the truth and to be free from their creator in the ayah number 31 to 35 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will describe those people whom he sends astray. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحمل تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته